if you're watching this video, you probably want to know how to tell the fake influencers from the real ones. Because the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life is that followers equal influence. You're gonna about to be mind blown. All you gotta do if you wanna know more is keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade. If you're new here, what's up? If you're not new, what's up family? I love you so much and today, we're talking about a question you particularly wanted to know, which is how to tell fake influencers from real ones. Now, this gets me really pumped up. I haven't been uh, pumped up in a while because this topic makes me actually angry. Like, it just, I guess what I'm trying to say is there's so much lies out there that tell you, especially if you're starting out on Instagram or trying to be social media famous, you're gonna get a lot of people that tell you BS about how to grow and how to get brand money. That is not the truth at all. This video is just supposed to encourage you if you're starting out or whether you're really advanced, that even if the people you look up to are typically not legitimate and you shouldn't ever base your success off someone else. So this video is for you if you, if you can relate to of that and I want to let you know on this channel we talk about growing on social media just just social media so I talk about Instagram and YouTube and my biggest passion ever has been uh, helping you grow your brand and make money and legitimate cash okay like you can get an affiliate product but you can't eat the clothes you got you know that doesn't taste good like if you're so far enjoying it I would give this video a like and just hit the subscribe button to know more this is just for you guys and I don't know what else to do other than say thank you so much for being here Back to the point we're gonna talk about this one thing because you have to realize followers do not equal money you can buy them They're, these days people literally buy their comments and likes you can even get an engagement group an engagement group basically is a group of people that are forced to like comment on each other which is fine but like if you're playing in the big game you typically don't need it you're supposed to create a fan base of following i'm about to give you three three reasons how you can spot a fake influencer and how you can catch your own BS. Okay, so I feel like we need a little backstory. I know I talk a lot, but you need to know a little bit of content or context to really understand it. It's crucial. So I hope you can grab a snack and listen to a little bit of story time. I started my social media journey a few years ago. Let me tell you, for some reason, I hope you guys can relate, but I want to a following of a certain number and I would do anything for that certain number for me it was 10k followers I don't know why 10k just sounds like a nice number you know like OCD like you want the round 10 number <sighs> but literally buy likes and I'm gonna be completely honest this is no shade like I bought likes I bought comments I bought followers I just knew that this wasn't right and there was a point where I was doing all of this and I just felt I don't have an engagement group I don't I don't have an engaged following it's just an exterior and that's when I realized there's a lot of people doing this as well. Everybody I've known that I kind of looked up to actually also manipulated their following. It wasn't true, it was fake. And when I mean fake, it's typically usernames that are like random. They're like robots, they're not actually real people. People that are forced to be in a group, they don't actually care about what you have to say. And that feeling when you have an audience of a thousand people, 10,000, a hundred thousand even, and they don't even care about what you're saying and they're just here because you bought them or you forced them like, or you told them to. Like when you are in a party, you know, if you guys, party but if you're in a high school group and you just feel like there's a hundred thousand people in the room but no one can hear you that is a feeling and it is so scary it feels like no one can hear you it feels like you're just worthless and it's not a good it wasn't a good day so that was when i transitioned into building this platform my youtube community my instagram profile follow me at jdarmark.com no that transition was hard and this is why i learned throughout that year i've learned how to spot the fake people because I've done it before. I'm a huge believer in practicing your work and just making sure you're doing it. So here is the truth and I'm about to spell the beans. So I hope this gives you a little context on why I know because <laughs> I've done it too. Okay, a lot of people are saying that if you hold your a bottle of uh, sugar bear hair or whatever product you're supposed to post about from a brand that you're an influencer because you can use code James for 10% off. <laughs> Number one, the first way you can tell if an influencer is fake is if they don't have hashtag ad or sponsored in their post. Basically, if you ever see someone have hashtag ad in the comments or hashtag sponsored, they're actually getting paid to post it. It's not a free product. There's a difference between gifting and getting paid for a product. When you get cash, you get, well, you know, money. When you get a product, you just have something, the free shit, you know, you just get free stuff, which is great. It's great for beginners, but if you want to actually make a living, you want sponsors. So the best way to tell if an influencer has a real following is if they have hashtag ad, because that means a brand actually is willing to put money and trust into them. And they're having a conversation back to forth. Brands are smart. They can tell if an influencer is fake. So maybe you're trying to snoop out your friend. If you don't see hashtag ad or sponsored, maybe they're just doing free spawn, like free products because it can look deceiving that they're making money, but they're actually not. And it's not supposed to sound you know condescending and i'm trying to be the most respectful possible if you're not making money 
don't act like it. Don't get your rent Ferrari. Like you just act like you won't. Anyways, hashtag ad or hashtag sponsored. If they don't have that, it means that they're not an affiliate. So they're not making actual cash. They're just getting, you know, a free product. Okay, so the second one is most is a lot easier. It's just to see where their traffic is coming from. A lot of the times, you might not know someone's Instagram famous, but maybe they're musically famous. Uh, maybe you don't know a YouTuber, but they're Instagram. You know what I mean? Look at their bio and see if they have a link. If they're a famous blogger, famous uh, underwater basket weaver, you know, you never know. You have to see where their traffic is coming from because a lot of the times you're trying to scoop out an influencer. Maybe you're a, a girl and you're trying to see if this gal is real, or you're a brand and you're like, should I invest in this person? See if they're actually famous legitimately somewhere else. That's why people have the verified check. If you guys didn't know, the little blue check is not because if you're cool or whatever, you bought it. It's because you are verified on somewhere else. You are like basically famous or you're known for something particularly successful on either another platform or another product or service. Now the third thing is look what they're doing, not what they're saying. So the biggest way to find if an influencer is fake is their likes and comments, their followers. See if they even have a community. This is what I see a lot. Selfie, me. Picture of my dog, picture of my product. It's all, it's about me, me, me. And I, I get it, okay? I get it. We've seen a lot of Alexis Ren. No, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying, you know, because if you post a selfie, it's bad. It's just get a misconception, you know? We could just get a misconception that it has to be all about us, but really building an Instagram following is all about your followers. What do they want to see? How can you bring value to your audience, right? So the biggest way to spot if an influencer is fake is typically if they grew really fast and it's all about them uh, i'm not saying this is for everyone but typically if you see like a, you know like social blade like if it's like going up like their followers just like jumped out of nowhere maybe they bought them maybe they did something else with a scheme i don't know if they're like hey guys make sure you follow me you never know so i would say the best way to find if an influencer is real brands listen is look at their comments are their profiles real are there people real people commenting are they the part of your demographic are they similar niches you know if for example if the, if one comments from us coming from south africa you know that like they maybe bought their followers from foreign countries. So I would just look at their community. What they're doing? Are they in engagement groups? So this is where the question leads to. If a fake influencer is fake, where do they get their followers? So there's a few options. I named a few. If you're curious, you can look it up. There's ways to buy followers. There's something called power likes. I made a video on that. I could, I'll link it below. Power likes is when you buy paid likes that will boost your following, basically. Um, you can also be in engagement groups. I said this briefly, but it's a group of people that are like, hey, new post, comment. There's even nowadays a server where you, people are... I, I, I really do believe this is okay for a certain level because let me let me explain. When I was starting, this goes back to when I started my social media journey. Listen, okay? Honey, I started being a BS Instagrammer. Whatever I told you before, I bought likes, you know, all that, you know, everything. I've tried a lot. And I realized I didn't bring a true value to people. That happened. <sighs> the reason why I did it is because I saw other people doing it and I got started that way. I'm not saying being a fake influencer is actually necessarily bad. A lot of times you need to do something to get started. A lot of you have a big fear of being, you know, a social media career because you don't know if it's gonna work and you're scared. But typically the fake influencer technique or life is easier. It's easy to buy followers. It's easy to buy likes. It's hard to make good content. Whatever it takes to just start, whether you have to be a BS influencer, you have to buy. A lot of people ask me, hey Jay, should I block my followers? Maybe you've already done it. It's okay, just move on. You got started. It was a great stepping stone. It's time to go to the next level. It's time to go to the next level. Imagine if I stayed on, you know, the unfollow and follow, the all BS liking for like or like buying likes and I didn't transition, I would always stay there. The key is start wherever you are. It doesn't matter where you came from, who you are. We all are here to support you. Just remember, you have to move forward. What are you going to do? What's your next steps? Are you really just going to dwell on the past? Keep moving, right? So I always say when I started my journey, I was a... I was bullshit. It was only creating an audience that was me paying for it. And I was asking brands for money, even if I didn't have a real audience. It's okay, let's move forward. And I'll be honest, it's embarrassing to me, but I only want to give you the truth. And a lot of people don't want to hear the truth. You want to hear fake this, fake flambo, fake guitar. Uh, actually, what? So now you're probably wondering what to do now. You know, whatever stage you're at, I wish my product was ready. I'm actually working on a product just for you. You know, I want you to get paid right. So I'm working on kind of like an app to make sure that a brand and an influencer knows how to really negotiate a price. I am, by the way, I am so for the influencer. I know I talked about brands for a little bit, but like, I want you guys to get paid in the right amount. But the only way to do that is getting your true following. I know I said money doesn't equal followers, but money equals attention. And attention doesn't mean you always have followers because we all know on Instagram we go, boop, 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 
would be a fast scroll. And there's a difference between liking a photo and actually having attention. I really focus on this channel to get the attention of the consumer by giving value. It is not about you sometimes. It's about helping your audience, giving tutorials, tips and tricks, replying, DM, live. It is so much work. But the beauty of it is this channel I semi build with the help of you guys are here to help you and I hope that I just want to let you know I'm working on a few products so I hope you guys stay tuned I would really appreciate you guys leaving a question below I will look at it right after this video just let me know your thoughts um this is the truth I've been in the industry for quite a while and I felt like making this video to expose some people oops guys thank you so much for watching shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. You wanna be the next common winner? Comment below and I will get back to you. I got the end screen. If you wanna see a few videos you missed or if you're new here, you can binge on some other valuable tips. Check the description box for coaching 101 from personal help from me. I can call you guys up and I'll get you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>